Enagic's top selling SD501 was a great machine in 2003 when it was first developed. That's 16 years ago. Enagic also sells through an MLM business model and at a high price. Consequently, some of their reps have created many myths which justify that high price. This short video, by comparison, will show you what's true between the Enagic SD501 and the Vesta H2 so that you can make an informed decision about your health. First, we'll test pH from an Agix SD501. We'll turn the water on, divert the flow, and turn the power on. Oh, and you can see it's actually in cleaning mode, which is the first thing I'll point out about the SD501. Its antiquated old cleaning system requires you to wait while it cleans. With the Vesta H2, you never have to wait for cleaning. It cleans every time you use it in the background. Much more convenient. Now that the SD501 is done cleaning, we'll test pH. We'll draw some water. You can see it's on Kangen 9.5, the highest setting. We'll turn the machine off, which you have to do manually. And we'll use standard pH reagent drops to test the pH where this red liquid gets dropped into clear liquid and then turns the color to match the corresponding pH. And as you can see, the Kangen machine makes great purple water. Next, we'll test the pH out of the Vesta H2. We just turn it on, never have to wait for cleaning. It also is on the top setting. And take some water. And we'll put some drops in. And you can see that it too is a nice purple color, just like the SD501 produced. On pH, they're about equal. Next, we'll test ORP between the two machines. So we'll turn it on at Kangen 9.5, the highest setting. And we'll use a standard HANA ORP meter. And the number's going negative. It's at about minus 180 and dropping, which is good. The SD501 makes good ORP when the plates are clean. But because of that old cleaning system, sometimes it doesn't do such great ORP. So right now you can see that it seems to be topping out at about minus 215, minus 220 millivolts of ORP. Yeah, minus 222. It might drop a few more, but you get the idea. Next, we'll test the Vesta H2. And again, you can see how easy it is to turn on and operate. We're at the highest setting. And we'll use the same ORP meter. And you can see it instantly jumps to over 400, 460, 470, well, 469, 470, minus 470. So you can see that the Vesta H2 outperforms an Agix SD501 in ORP performance. Next, we'll do the standard tea bag test, comparing the SD501, the Vesta H2, and tap water. First, I'll fill up the tap water directly out of the tap. And then we'll fill up Kanga 9.5 again, highest setting. And we'll try to get about the same amount of water. Turn it off, and we'll turn on the Vesta, and you can see again it's the highest setting. And we'll try to get about the same amount of water as the other two.
And then we'll use three Lipton green tea bags. And we'll put them in all at the same time and try to dunk them at approximately the same rate. Whoops, into the tap water first, which probably won't make any difference in the result of the test. And then last, we'll put it in the water from the Vest H2. And as you can see, the Kangen water and the Vesta water are turning much darker. And you can see the Vesta, even though I put that tea bag in last, is actually turning darker faster. So again, both the machines work. One seems to be a little bit stronger than the other. Next, we'll test the molecular hydrogen or H2 performance in each machine. So once again, go through the process of turning on the Kangen machine. And we'll take at the highest Kangen water setting. Turn it off. Power off. Turn on the, we're using a Trustlex H2 meter. And as you can see, the number is starting to go up, indicating that there is indeed molecular hydrogen produced by the SD501. The number is hovering right around 330 to 340, which is 330 to 340. Actually, it's up to 350 parts per billion of molecular hydrogen or H2. Now it's up to 360, right around 360. So you can see it tops out right around 350, 360. Next, we'll test the molecular hydrogen in the Vesta H2. And once again, it's on the highest setting. And you can see that it's actually instantly reading up around 630, 640 parts per billion. So once again, the Vest H2 outperforms the Enagic SD501. Next, we're gonna show the acidic water performance out of each machine. First, we'll test the SD501, and you'll notice that there are two acidic water settings, Beauty Water and Super Kangen Water. And we're testing today without the salt enhancer that the Enagic machine uses. Salt is corrosive and it damages the platinum coating on the titanium electrodes. So all this testing will be done without the enhancer. So first we'll test the beauty water. You can see it's got a nice acidic color. And then next, when you go to strong acidic water, actually it's a little confusing because what comes out of the top is no longer acidic water, but alkaline water. And you're required to take the strong Kangen water out of the drain hose. So a nice orange color. Next, we'll test the Vesta H2. And we have two acidic water settings as well. We'll test acidic water number one first. And we'll add three agent drops. As you can see, it's a little bit stronger than the Enagic. Now I've changed it to acidic level two. About the same. And then we'll take it out of our drain tube 
just like an adjunct does. So I'm going to get some water out of the Vesta drain tube. And you can see that that's the strongest acidic water. And if you want even stronger acid water, you can slow the flow on the Vesta and get an even deeper acidic water. We finished all the performance testing and I wanted to clarify the most controversial test, which we intentionally left out of that, which is the sesame oil test. It's controversial because it doesn't always work depending on your water quality. It works in some places, doesn't in others. So Enagic's own distributor manual shows this way to alter the test results by changing the water. The most important thing to consider when buying an ionizer is filtration, the ability of the filter to remove contaminants from the water. Because what good is it to drink healthy alkaline ionized water if it has contaminants like arsenic or heavy metals? You can see the Enagic machine offers single filtration. The single filter is made up of granulated and activated carbon and a little bit of calcium sulfite. That's basically the same as in a Brita filter. The Vest H2 has dual ultra water filtration technology. It's not just the best ionizer filter. We think it's the best filtration technology available, period. This technology has been tested in an independent EPA certified laboratory against 172 contaminants and shown to reduce virtually all of them up to 99.9%. Enagic has only tested against WQA Gold Seal for NSF 42. That's a very simple test to show reduction, not even removal, but reduction of chlorine taste and odor. This next image shows the media inside each filter system. As you can see, the Enagic media is not very very much. The ultra water media is more than twice the amount of media in the Enagic filter and contains 16 different specialized media to target a broad range of contaminants. Filtration is all about contact time, how long the water is in contact with the media to remove contaminants. Looking at this simple graphic illustration, which filter would you choose? One key consideration of the user experience is how you install the machine. And so the Enagic machine was actually designed to be a countertop unit attached with all these hoses to a diverter at your faucet. The manufacturer makes nothing available out of the box to install it either to your cold water line or under sink. You can buy complicated systems from third party vendors, but I believe that it voids the Enagic warranty. So the operation is a little complex. It's a three, sometimes four step process. First you have to turn the water on, then you have to divert it. Then lastly, once the water comes out, you turn the power on, and finally you select the different level of, of alkaline water that you want. Then when you turn it off, you have to remember to shut off the power or you walk away and your machine is drawing power. The Vesta H2 was designed to be installed three different ways. To the tap at the faucet, just like the Enagic SD501, or like this installation, plumb directly to your cold water line. The operation in this instance is so easy and so convenient. You simply turn the knob on, 
and then select the level of alkaline water that you want. And the machine will always remember the last level that you had selected. So if you had level five selected like it is here, and we turn it off and then turn it on again, it will come back on at alkaline level five. So the machine goes to sleep, we turn it back on, it comes right back on to level five. Lastly, the Vesta H2 can be installed under sink with an under sink conversion kit where the ionizer is under your sink and all you have at the tap is a dedicated faucet like this from which you get your alkaline and acidic water. Ease of use is important, but something that's also equally important is how is the machine going to look in your kitchen, right? I think the aesthetics speak for themselves, 2003, 2019. An important consideration is the flex hose. The idea is that you can point the water wherever you want. You can do that with both machines. However, this one's large and kind of clumsy and actually really difficult to keep clean. This is stainless steel, wipes up nice and easy. We think that aesthetically, uh, well, as I said, the aesthetics speak for themselves. Now we'll talk about flow rate, which is how long it takes you to fill up your glass or container with water. Enagix's advertised flow rate is between 1.2 and 2 gallons per minute. That's really fast. Here's the problem with that. Contaminant reduction has everything to do with contact time. That's how long the water is in the filter, giving the filter media a chance to remove the contaminants. At that flow rate, basically anything over a gallon, you have very little time, contact time, with the simple GAC, granulated activated carbon. That's just like what's in a Brita filter. Very little contact time with that media to remove any substantial contamination. We found that the most optimal flow rate for the balance between contaminant reduction and ease of use and filling up your containers is about three liters per minute. And that's exactly what the Vesta H2 does. One of the features of the Enagic machine that we think is actually misleading is the preset alkaline levels, the pH levels. For example, if you select the highest level, which says it produces 9.5, pH water. If you're in a soft water area that's low in minerals, you might only get a 9 pH. If you're in a hard water area that's high in minerals, you'll probably get over 10 pH. So it's not accurate. Our machines go from alkaline level 1 at the lowest to alkaline level 5 at the highest, and the pH that you get is dependent on your source water. And you can see that the SD501 only offers you three alkaline pH settings from which to choose, while the Vesta offers five, giving you a wider range to select from so that you can choose the perfect alkaline pH. Many Enagic dealers sell the notion that the SD501 will last 15 to 20 years. Why do they only offer a five-year warranty then? The answer is simple. It's the outdated cleaning system, which requires that you clean the ionizer every two weeks with a citric acid cleaning solution, and that you then have to send the machine in for an annual deep cleaning. And if you don't, Enagic can void your warranty. It can easily be said that the SD501 is a high maintenance machine. Here's a page from the Enagic distributor manual which shows a hard water exclusion from the warranty. The Vesta H2, which has the Dark 2 cleaning system, which cleans every time you use it automatically in the background, means that you don't waste any time with manual maintenance. As technology advances, it gets smaller and more powerful. Think of a computer, a desktop computer from 2003, the year that Enagic launched the SD501, and contrast that to a smartphone. This small phone has more storage, a faster processor, and far more computing power. That's improvement. In the world of water ionizers, water ionization technology has made similar improvements. In front of me, 
you can see the ionizing units from the Vesta H2 and the SD501. First, the water cells. This is a nine plate cell from the Vesta H2 and a seven plate cell from the SD501. You get two more plates of ionization power with the Vesta H2. These are the power supplies that power the cell and create the ionization in the water and the main PCBs that control it all. As you can see, as technology advanced, it's gotten smaller. And you already saw in the performance testing that we outperformed the SD501. As plate technology has evolved, we've also become more efficient. Smaller plate size means less power. Less power means less heat. Less heat means less stress to the plating, and that means that you get lasting performance and more durability over time. Another key consideration of uh, ionizer performance and durability over time is the cleaning system. All ionizers have cleaning systems designed to keep the plates clean, but all cleaning systems are not designed equal. The SD501 uses an outdated cleaning system, again from era 2003, which cleans for 20 to 30 seconds for every 15 minutes you use the machine. That means that after you've used the machine for 15 minutes, the next time you turn it on, it will go into cleaning cycle and you have to wait for 30 seconds for the cleaning cycle to complete before you can get alkaline ionized water. Not very convenient. And remember, on top of that cleaning, you also have all the manual maintenance that an adjunct requires to keep the plates clean. The citric acid cleaning every other week and the annual deep cleaning. That's a lot of maintenance. The Vest H2, on the other hand, uses the new Dark 2 cleaning system, which you can see on the front of the cell right here. It cleans every time you use the unit in the background automatically. You never have to wait to get your alkaline water and there's no maintenance. Cleaner plates means more performance and more benefit for you over time. Many Enagic dealers claim that the SD501 uses medical grade titanium. In this graphic, you can see the various grades of titanium. It's graded one through four one being the highest grade and four the lowest, and it relates to purity. There is in fact no medical grade. You can see that medical applications use grades one, two, and three. We don't know for sure what grade Enagic uses because we couldn't find that certification. While we are talking about certificates, you can see that we hold the same or equivalent major certificates as Enagic and they can't get close to matching our certified filter testing. To summarize, what you get with the Vesta H2 versus the Enagic SD501 is 2019 technology versus 2003 technology. The Vesta H2 offers you superior filtration performance and protection against waterborne contaminants, and it's more efficient and offers you overall superior performance at a much more affordable price. It's easier to use. It offers more installation options out of the box. We think it's a better looking unit. Plus, because of the Dark 2 cleaning system, you get better performance over time, which means you get more benefit out of the water. We think your choice is easy.